I'll do our regular ninja moves. Here. Whoa. Are you kidding? I just welcome Taylor and Javen to the mukbang. I'm excited to be here. I'm ready Rinse to be a human. It's a mukbang. Strawberry preserves, everybody. If you don't know what a mukbang is, it's um, eating a ton of food. And we're just going to talk about Jesus. Jesus and food. Actually, this week is this week we are talking about being courageous. So we are doing something courageous and we are mukbanging. McDonald's, a Coke, a vanilla, and a chocolate shake. We've got a ton of french fries. We've got a Happy Meal. We got Big Macs. We got Littler Macs. We got chicken nuggets. We got hash browns. We got breakfast parts. We got fish, which you should never get from McDonald's. I'm gonna eat it. It's not even, even real food. I'm gonna eat it. We got all the sauces. So many sauces. I didn't so even know so they have that. So many sauces. I didn't, sauces. I didn't know either. They have sauces. I this is full of sauces. They just dropped their so everyone, grab yourself a fry. Let's distribute these drinks. I think this is Danny. Danny, do you want the Coke? Don't tell my wife. Okay. Jesus bless the food, amen. amen. All right, let's get rolling. I want Ooh, bacon, chicken. egg, and cheese McGriddle. Does this have cheese? I'm gonna start with breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the fish filet, What you should not do. Alyssa and I don't do dairy. Taylor and I do do dairy. Pickles, sauce. I got two patties on a bun. <laughs> McDonald's is kind of like sin. Like it's like fun while it's happening, sort of, and then you regret it immediately after. We're all gonna regret this after. It's, it's a cheap, um, it's, it's a cheap good time. Can I get a straw? No. Man, I McDonald's. forgot the straws. No, I, I have two straws, I just don't know where they are. Well, there's four beverages, human. Oh, we have the straws. You can't drink a shake without a straw like that. I'm gonna eat the half trowel, it's awesome. I need to there's grab some sauces. I'm gonna try them all. I'm gonna try them sweet and sour. Is this a taco? Oh, I'm very excited for the sauces. I'm gonna try them. There's a wrap. There's a burrito. Cheese and nuts. Here's some nuts. Yeah! Guys, what movie are you most excited for coming up? What's coming up? Like, what's coming out soon? Like, what movie are you most excited for? So, Spider Man Far From Home is already oh, out, so but I want to see it. It was amazing. It was so good. I think it looks really cool. I'm a big Spider Man fan, big Tom Holland fan. Are you putting jelly on? He's putting jelly on. He just tried them on the nuggets. Yeah. They're all his. Yep. What kind of guy puts jelly on his nuggets? This guy. Okay. All right. A down she oh, nuts. chicken nugget down. We got a we nugget down! Taylor, house. get that nugget. Get it. We're talking about back to cool. It's cool to be courageous. What What's something uh, have you guys done in your life? What's like one of the, the most courageous, crazy, I want to hear like a crazy story, something you did that was courageous, like you were scared to do it, and it was like awesome. So a few years ago, I actually went to India, and it was crazy because I had never really flown alone before, and here my first flight was flying, it was like 12, 13 hours to wow. India, and I didn't know what to do, I was like telling strangers that I was alone and let me follow them, which is probably rule number one not to do. Do not do that! <laughs> I was like, hi, I'm Taylor, I'm alone, can you help me get through the airport? How I old were that. you? This is like Twelve years four old. years ago. I was, but I look young. So, but I made it. I survived. I stayed in India for about two months. It was an amazing trip, and um, that was courageous of me, bold of me, and um, God honored it. So I did something courageous. I'm gonna look at that camera, and then that camera, and then that camera. When I was probably ten years old, we were at a pool for a church party, and they had a high dive that I think realistically the high dive was like 15 feet high, but when I was a kid, it felt like it was like 50 feet. I mean, it was so high. And I remember seeing a kid fall off of it and did the worst belly flop I've ever heard. It was like his whole body like slapped the water. Oh yeah, he came out crying, his arm was all red. His oh, my God. oh yeah, like, like he really got hurt. There was a warning on the high dive. This is why you don't, for the record kids, this is why you don't see high dives anymore, by the way, because you really, really? can get hurt on them. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they took them out. Yeah, and so I waited in line to go up, and I, I really wanted to do it to like impress my friends, mm -hmm. and I was so nervous. And I remember standing at the top, totally panicking about jumping off of this high dive. And so finally, 
I walked right to the edge. And like, you ever do like the pencil dive where you don't yeah. dive head first, you just go feet first? And I literally just stepped off the edge and put my hands to my sides and slipped into the water. And then it was awesome. And I realized how much fun it was and I went a million times more. <laughs> and I actually eventually did start diving off of it. And one of the last dives I did, probably the last dive, my hands weren't perfectly together to break the water. They were apart, and so the water slapped the top of my head. It hurt were so bad. Oh yeah, I cry. I was not bald. Today. <laughs> I haven't always been That's bald. That's why he's bald. Thank you for abusing. He lost his hair. He hit, the, he hit the water so hard, he lost all of his hair. That actually, there might be some scientific evidence for that. The follicle damage. I love being a scientist. Trauma. What do I want? I don't know. What do I want? I'm gonna dip this in your sprite. Thank you, honestly, so much. Oh. Why, why would that be a good idea? You can have the rest of this half right It was not a good right idea. So, so I'm going to go for a Big Mac because I think it's just iconic. I don't think what you But if you don't know what a Big Mac uh. is, there's a bun right in the middle. Um, This is going to be really interesting. Tell us how it is, okay? Ready? I'm actually already feeling sick. Ready? Go. <laughs> Good to the last drop, eh? This is great, but I feel like I just gained 10 pounds. Mm. I get it. It's an area in your in your face that you feel like you need courage. Oh man. Ooh. I'll oh. go first. Unless you wanna go. She's gonna go first. She can go first. Well she's gonna go. Oh she's um, gonna go first. She's gonna go and go. Alright everybody, do it. honestly thank you. Um, I think for me it's school because like mm. it, it's easy to talk to kids at school but also like you have to continuously fight against the I don't necessarily want to be like everybody else because everybody else is going to not necessarily accept you to the extent that you want them to and you, you find it more when you step out and you actually talk about Jesus on campus that kids actually want, are intrigued by it. And so it's easier the more you do it, but it's still very hard to just be different in a place where everybody's so like one way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, this is actually a little bit of transparency. Um, I work at a church. What? I don't know if you all do they that. Hire bald Whoa. People? They hire baldness. Whoa! There, you cannot discriminate against baldness. Oh it's my illegal. God. So I talk to people and pray with people all the time at my job. You guys, your parents other kids yeah and sometimes uh, you know I leave work or church or whatever and I'm really really exhausted because I've spent the whole day talking to people about Jesus but the problem is is those people already knew who Jesus was so then when I'm out in public Jesus, if I'm Jesus Burke. Jesus Burke? Oh, Taylor, Taylor Burke. Burke. Close. She just Burke. Yes. so when I'm out in public like grocery shopping or whatever Sometimes I'm kind of like, don't want to talk to anybody, just want to be quiet and decompress. But those are the people that need to hear about God's love the most, right? Because they don't know Him. Um, and those are the times where I really have to like muster up the energy, muster up the courage, and just start talking to them, even though I might not necessarily feel like it in that moment. Um, working at a church, it's really easy to not be around people who don't know Jesus, because pretty much everybody you see at church has some general idea of who God is, and as one of the pastors on staff, they expect me to talk to them about Jesus, so it doesn't take any courage here. But then when you go to the grocery store, you go to the YMCA, those people don't know or care that I'm a kids pastor at a church. They just see me as a strange bald man. And I gotta share Jesus' love. Yeah. Until you it takes courage. Jalen's waving the bacon. I actually have something I need to be more courageous with. Um, so, and it's been building over time, so it's something that you could have asked me five, ten years ago. I have only been saved ten years. You could have asked me five years ago and I would have had the same thing, but it's pretty much um, getting out of my comfort by praying for people. I never thought my words were powerful, um, and sometimes you hear people pray and they just sound so elegant and they use the powerful words, and I don't know, it just really always intimidated me. Um, growing up and so but the more you pray out loud and the more you pray for people and ask people to um, to pray for them and everything the more you get out of that and the more you realize that God is going to be guiding your words and you don't need those elaborate 
thy, thus is, you know, type type phrases in order for a prayer to be special. Yeah. Um, and so that's something that I'm going to continue to be more courageous with is just like praying for people and being confident in the voice that God has given me. That's really awesome. I want to encourage all of you and say that you guys are like super cool because it takes a lot of courage to just admit what we need more courage to do. You know, like what things that we're afraid of, especially when it comes to faith. Um, I'm really proud of all of you guys. I think it's a, a great example. Can I say something? This is going to take some courage because <laughs> Honestly? I feel like they just slapped like a whole chicken. Oh, that's, <laughs> just, that's the whole chicken. This is a wing. That's a this is like chicken. That's a chicken. That's literally, that's literally a, a chicken. Wing. This is like that's the bird was just going like this. And, went, oh, and, then, not look and then they, they just all. cut it off and put it on the bird. And the pickle Don't left make eye contact mark. with it. <laughs> the pickle left the mark. Left the mark. They got tired of making food for a mukbang, so they just... When when you need uh, encourage or when you need courage, what should you remind yourself of? Wow. That's a great question. That's a really, really good question. <laughs> I'll, I got an answer for you. Remind myself um, of the courage it took for Jesus to really go to the cross. Like that yeah, might sound wow. like a textbook, that like sounds a little bit like a textbook answer, but it's really, really true. Because when, when I think about um, what it cost Jesus to actually die for our sins, um, that was a lot. In fact, in the garden of Gethsemane, so right before Jesus is crucified, the, the night before he's praying, and he's under so much anguish and stress that he's literally sweating blood, like droplets of blood are coming out of the pores on his head. Yeah. Um, and that's a real medical condition. When you're under so much physical and psychological stress, your body literally um, will excrete blood from your pores. And so it just goes to show how, how intense Jesus's death for us was. And when I think about like, if God can do that for me, and he loves me and he's accepted of me, accepted me. I don't have to be afraid of anything, you know? Um, and so that usually helps me like knuckle up. Um, I also have a personal life philosophy that my wife gets mad when I say this, but I always say nerves are rocket fuel for success. So when I get nervous about something, my, I kind of get real jacked up and excited, uh, even though I'm nervous and it takes courage because it's gonna get wild and crazy, yeah. That's really good. Also. Uh, the cheese on this burger didn't melt. Oh, it's yeah. burnt. Oh God! Thank this you. Is burnt cheese. We need a refund. We That's disgusting. It's McDonald's. That looks so gross. Look at our order. Oh, I, do a close up on that camera. Show them the corners of that cheese. Mm. That so, is disgusting. Wait, um, I have a comment. When I need courage, um, other than what Danny said, I'll I'll, I'll read the Bible because there's a lot of what. Support. Yes, I do. The book. Word of God? Yes, yes I oh. do that sometimes. Best selling book of all time? Yeah, honestly. So I read that and I learn about people who are very um, underqualified, normal, young people who God had a calling on and everything. I told them to do something and they were really scared or they felt like they couldn't do it and yet God made a way for them to do it. And so that really encourages me because it's not about me. Right, like yeah. whatever God tells us to do, it isn't about me, it's about Him, and He is going to qualify us. He's going to give us whatever we need to do the task that He has for us. And so, um, I just remember that it's not about me, and that there's been people before me that have done it. And yeah, and then it perks me up. That's really good. I you know, I, I feel like my, something I do is um, because my, my goal is to live a life looking like Christ. Good. And so um, it always comes down to it where like I have to remind myself like whether oh a right. nugget just went in my book. I just needed to say that. <laughs> you have to eat it. No. Alyssa was talking about Jesus. Okay, sorry. That was so, rude. I'm so sorry, that was rude. I apologize. So you should please forgive me. My, I do forgive you. So if my life is trying to be like Christ um, I, I have to remind myself that like whether my re reputation matters or not in the moment Ooh. is that Ooh. compared to God and compared to everything that's been done for me to live free yeah. um, is my reputation as important as what he's calling me to do. That's really good. That's awesome. I'm going to try this artistic grill. I want you to eat the nugget. Uh oh. No. Oh, okay. 
Alyssa's gonna Alyssa's eat the, gonna eat the Coke Nugget. The Coke Nugget. Oh, wow. get it, girl. Let's go in there. Oh wow. She's oh, got, oh, it's dripping. She's got it's weird dripping. fingers too. Oh. Coke flavor nugget. Coke, Coke nugget. 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 Hey, that should be the code word. Code word kick coke nugget. Coke nuggets the code word. Code word. The breading tastes like um like a waffle cone and then just the taste of chicken. A waffle cone. Like a waffle cone. It's not good. No, that's shocking. I really thought it would have been delicious. Yeah. It could have been delicious. I like how we're not eating on a scale. We also don't. How are you? Not full at all. Definitely full and a half. Overly full. I can keep going for an like a while. You just get it, girl. Wow. You, do you, you. you do you. So uh, Hebrews, <laughs> Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 uh, reminds us that God is um, that God is our helper and that we shouldn't be afraid of anybody because he's there yeah. to lift us up and to guide us. Um, I really like what, what Taylor said about turning to the Bible because um, okay, you, did. you... I'm just kidding. <laughs> what a brat. She is such a brat. <laughs> Um, because there, because we can all get something, get something out of it. Um, God is is infinite and can speak yeah. to us in so many different ways through that, you know. Yeah. Um, so this chicken's pretty hard. She plays sports. Just it. bite it. We'll give it to Josh. Why are we giving? We're gonna, gonna give everything Josh. to Josh. There's a burrito here that's really good, but um, they didn't. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's English. This it's one? Not, I think it's cheese. It's not dairy. It says ranch on it. No, this is a grilled snack Yeah, my stomach is like that. I got a breakfast burrito. How do you spend it right now? It's good. It's, it's, it feels like a carbonated drink. Like it's I'm about to give birth to a food baby. No, I can go. So I feel like your carbonated drink helps you. The shake was a bad choice. Mm -hmm. I had a vanilla shake. Um, it definitely... It makes it worse. Thinking about it, I'm going to eat this. It's, okay. it's a rock. It's a... It's a let's see. There's nobody like Taylor. In the whole wide world. And that's a wrap, everybody. <laughs> and there's a wrap. Should we say bye? Yeah, yeah, I think we should say bye. Um, but first let's let's pray with everybody. Uh, I want you guys to know that you're awesome and special. This is all we are the link at Church in the Sun. Uh, every Sunday we meet at Church in the Sun at eleven o'clock. Yeah. In Orlando, Florida. In Orlando, Florida. Orlando. Uh we want to see you guys there. It's a good time. Comment in the video. Do your take home. Come in with the take home and get uh, a candy. Also, come in with the code word. Code word. Coke word nugget. Don't say it again. Oh. Oh, he said it again. Well, there you go. Come in <laughs> with the code word. That I'm not going to say again. That we're not going to say. Coke nugget. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> oh, man. So just don't tell anybody that the code word is Coke, coke nugget. nugget. And okay. then come in. You have to shirts. You have to find somebody and tell them right away what the code word is. Jesus, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for um, not letting us die from eating too much McDonald's. Uh, Lord, be with all, everyone watching and listening. Uh, God, give us more courage and and give us the courage to be aware of where we need to be more courageous. And then help us, uh, give us the courage to, to follow through and to be obedient to you, God, and to go where you're calling us. In Jesus' name, thank you so much. Is there anything else you guys wanted to add to that group? Amen. 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 You didn't have fry while you are playing with me. Yeah, I did that too. Uh -huh. All right, see you guys. Bye. Don't do this at home. Oh, gosh. Save yourself. Ugh. Ugh.